Hello everybody and welcome back to another RC Cars presentation and today is another suggestion video featuring Team Dynaco. This video was suggested to me by Jedi General Kenobi, I hope I pronounced that right. And uh, if you guys aren't familiar with the suggestion basis, if you want something reviewed, just comment down in the comment box or message me on Google Plus. Just let me know somehow and it'll eventually be reviewed on my channel. Basically everything I have, so you name it, I got it. So let's get into the review here. This of course is Team Dynaco. Now there are some cars affiliated with Dynaco that I won't be reviewing in this video. Such as Dynaco fans, like Pally Puddle Jumper right here. Or other cars like um, Bling Bling Lion McQueen. <clears throat> as you can see right here, or a any other Dynaco Lion McQueens and Dynaco Chick Hicks. I will not be reviewing those just because they aren't really necessarily a part of Team Dynaco. They were in dreams. But if you do want me to review those cars, just comment um, down and it'll be a future suggestion video. So let's start here. Let's start with the King, aka Strip Weathers. Of course, this is the racer representing Dynaco in the Cars movie and retired after the Los Angeles speed ra Speedway race. Um, and you guys know all about that. That was in the first Cars movie. I'm sure you guys are familiar with this diecast as well. So I'm just going to go a brief showing of it. Uh, number 43 got the Dynaco decals. Definitely not as many sponsors as the other Piston Cup racers do, which is nice. Difference, always good. <clears throat> Loving this guy. I love this car, but after a while you kind of get bored of it But you know, it's you know a nice car But the two versions I'd like to really focus on today are the Damage the King version and the metallic one over there But this is when Chick kind of pushed the King off the track during the last race and made the King spin out and uh, get really destroyed wrecked and um, here's the nice look at them. There are, of course, just the damaged mood springs, and a there was supposed to be a damaged fabulous Hudson Hornet to be released, but that never happened. But he's a very nice car. I mean, you can see all the grass stains on him from when he tumbled in the grass there, which is very nice. Well, really nice detailed car. Uh, you got the kind of metal kind of going in and out. There's a little jagged surface here, and the spoiler's also jagged as well, which is very nice. It's very accurate to the movie with all the grass stains as well. Very nice car, I really like this. Probably at least like one of my favorite. I mean, I just love the detail on them. <clears throat> Another, probably one of my favorite metallic releases is the Metallic the King. This was part of the 2010 Lenticular line. Although it wasn't Lenticular, there was a Lenticular version. And uh, I just recently bought the non-Lenticular version as I'm trying to buy as many non-lenticular versions of lenticular cars that I have because I personally really do not like the lenticular cars just because they most of the time it looks like you have four eyes so uh, I try to get as many non-lenticulars as I can uh, so it's a very nice car they've never really done this paint before again um, which is really nice it's like one of the first times Mattel even did a metallic release uh, because it was like 2010, they did Daryl Carship, then Ramon, and DJ. And it's just a very nice paint they used on him. Finn McMissile got a metallic release, but I mean, he does not have this kind of tight paint. More like the Blu-ray kind of style. So that's all for the King, aka Strip Weathers. <clears throat> Let's move on to the Dynaco Showgirls here, which, in my opinion, are very nice. They just look very cool. Uh, they remind me of me and Tia, although they're not the same models. They're just kind of... The same car, only different expressions. You know, you got the blue feathers up here and the Dynaco crowns. Uh, released probably like two or three times in a three-pack with Lightning McQueen. No license plates on the back, but it's still a very nice car. Probably their unique car. I don't think there's ever another um, character released as this model car. So that's pretty cool. I really like those. It'd be great if they'd release more of these because a bunch of them appeared in the movie. I only have the two that they actually released. Now let's move on to Tex Dynaco, who's getting, who got a release in the 2015 Dynaco series this year. Um, I picked him up in case Q. Very nice, he got this gold metallic paint on him with this cow skin uh, kind of convertible top on the back here. Very nice, very similar to Dex from Heavy Metal Mater. Um, and he's got this kind of long horn cow horn on the hood there. I was kind of blanking out there with the leather going around it. And the horn going around, um, 
oh, out the sides there. Uh, it looks very cool, although I wish, I'm not sure, there's just something about this car, I feel like it should be maybe raised, maybe a little bit shorter, I feel like it's a, too long, but definitely really nice, uh, I really like this car, it's been released many times throughout the years, I love his license plate, just Dynaco, because, you know, he is the owner of Dynaco, so very nice. Now let's move on to Mrs. The King, or Linda Weathers, who is the King's wife, very nice car, who has just recently got a release in 2015, appeared on Amazon. I picked one up, should be coming soon. Uh, I really like this car, it's very nice. You know, you got the nice rack on the top. Again, unique, unique to her model character. There's no other character that has her model. Uh, I'm not really sure what model it is, but it does have this hood ornament right here. Kind of a half, kind of square there, diamond. A uh, very nice car, I really like her. Uh, yeah, this is her first single release this year, so that's pretty cool. Now let's move on to more of the actual team of Dynaco, which would be the Pities that are really helping them out on the field there. Luke Pellwork was the main release of the Pity back, I'm pretty sure it was in 2008 was the uh, first release of a Dynaco Pity, Luke Pellwork. And all of these have the Dynaco logo on both sides and on the orange cap. Very nice. Uh, I definitely like Luke Bell work, but that, the tall one, is definitely my favorite. I'll tell you why in a second. But uh, originally, he came with these tall stack of thin tires, which are blue, which is inaccurate, as the king has silver rims, not blue. Um, and these are also inaccurate because they're very thin. They do have this hole where you could stick the fork through it and you could drive them around with it, which I don't know why they do that. Uh, I mean, they even do it in the new version, which are the correct size, but are still the wrong color. I'm not really sure why you'd stab your uh, fork into the tire and drive around with it, but you could put it on top and it looks nice. Uh, they also came with this toolbox, which has the Dynaco logo on the front and the silver lining of the racks on the back. Very nice. Uh, of course, these other pities were released in the 4-pack in 2009 and 10, I believe. Uh, with the Dynaco Crew Chief, which I'll show in a second here. These are the only release of these, which here's the fat or wide pity, whatever you want to call them, and the thin one, which is personally my favorite because on my display, I display them with the King Trophy right here, the Piston Cup Trophy, and he just really looks proud of it. He's like, yeah, that's cool. And uh, here's the Piston Cup Trophy that came with the King in a 2009 release. Uh, it's very hard to focus on the King uh, text right there, but it says the King Champion and more piston cup. It's a very nice piston cup, really nice detail to it, and it's very in scale. <clears throat> now let's take a look at the Chief Dynaco. Never got a name to my knowledge, just Chief Dynaco. It's the basic uh, pickup uh, that is also for Chick Hicks's crew chief, Enyo, Dexter Hoover, and uh, several other pickup cars. Got the Dynaco logo on the sides and on the hood. Um, not probably my least favorite crew chief just because it's so basic, but uh, it is still pretty cool I really like it though got the headset on him and we could ch take a look at his license plate here three Two five nine two and I can't read the text above it, but very nice Just kind of not the most exciting with the bumper save and octane gain crew chiefs Just not the most exciting crew chief of all <clears throat> Now let's move on to the Dynaco Helicopter, which has also gotten released this year in the 2015 line, but I have not found that. I've found Brian Fuel and Tractor, which are in the Dynaco Helicopter case, but I just haven't seen the Dynaco Helicopter himself. I'd like to get another one because this one's a little chipped up, but very nice. Got some more decals in the usual team. King logo, Dynaco, and the other Dynaco logo with the dinosaur. He's got the code in the back, N9747P. On the other side, it's exactly the same, except you got the back tail propeller. And this propeller up top here all folds into like two pieces, like two pieces, three pieces, I'm pretty sure. Um, <clears throat> and so it's very nice it's for packaging reasons, so they don't have this whole thing spread out in a package, and then it's just a little hard to get back into the spot it's supposed to be in. But a very nice, I like how they gave it three fully functioning wheels instead of giving it like a nub, like the planes they do nowadays. So that's pretty cool, although extremely out of scale, it should be much bigger. But you know, what can you do? I mean, it's just a deluxe toy, I guess. <clears throat> you can't really, I know they did a uh, place, a kind of plastic one, but that was probably a little too short too. So they can never 
really get the exact size on him, but you know, what can you really do with something like that? But here's the gray semi or a hauler. <clears throat> And the Grey Semi got released in the 2015 Deluxe Dianco series, and the whole hauler was also released as a Walmart exclusive. So, along with the Rusty's hauler, the Mac hauler, um, which is Rusty's hauler, and the Walmart hauler, which I recently reviewed. So, very cool. I really like this, although, you know, again, after seeing it a while, you just kind of get bored of it. Let's separate this two there. And uh, as you can see, he's got the Dianco logos on his cap, on the sides. And I really like the mud flaps there. Got the nice Dianco logos along with his R6833 license plate with Axel Ben above it. One instance where I can actually read the text above the license plate. Um, you could connect the hauler, the um, what's it called, the hauler to his hitch there. And uh, here is the Dianco hauler semi release for this year. There's also going to be a video on Tuesday comparing the two as there are quite a few differences. So stay tuned for that. Now let's take a look at the actual hauler here. I have this open so I can easily do it. Um, but uh, some nice decals on the side, 43, the King Dynaco Racing. Similar decals on the back along with tail lights. Same license plate on the back as well, although much smaller. More decals on the side and the Dynaco on the roof there with the satellite. So this opens from the side like all um, haulers with that semi model do. And uh, you can pull this out here, except for Oliver Lightroom. Uh, that's the only, only semi-model that does not open from the side. And uh, very cool. You got the toolbox inside there. Of course, very similar to the Wally hauler that I just reviewed. And very oddly enough, they have the correct silver rim tires, which is very weird. Um, that this has the correct tires, but not the actual diecast release of it, if I can find it here. Just looking through it, as you can see, they actually have the correct rims, although it doesn't say light year. Uh, so it's very cool. You could pull this ramp down and set the Dynaco racer inside. Very cool. I like it a lot. Uh, again, as I previously said, just you know, I like to see some new haulers instead of the same old stuff every uh, single year. Like like to see some new haulers really. So that's all for the Dynaco team video. Again, if you want to see those other cars that are affiliated with Dynaco that I did not show in this video, just let me know and I'll definitely do it. It'll just be a little bit into the future. And uh, thank you for suggesting Je Jedi General Kenobi. I appreciate the suggestion. I hope the video lived up to what you hoped it would be. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.